Training hard ahead of their match against the number one Ipswich United in the Norama National League South. Oxford City were doing their best, hoping to make up for the last heavy defeat with Western Supermare. Everyone was a bit down, um, a bit upset, was a bit embarrassed actually, because we were losing 3 0 at half time, down to 10 men, so we, we need to put it right tonight at training. And then on Saturday we need to we need to go and get a win. We're not expected to necessarily win as they're flying really high, but internally and as a group, we've got a talented squad as well, and uh, we'll be seeking to try and get three points. Yeah, we're playing against the top of the table side. Uh, we've played them twice already this season, and we've got positive results against them both times. So there shouldn't be anything for us to fear. But yeah, we're expecting a difficult game on Saturday, and uh, yeah, hopefully looking for a positive response uh, from our last league game, which was a bit disappointing. The match started in a rainy, cold afternoon. Epps Fleet fans dominated the atmosphere. James Roberts kicked the first half. Not long later, John Azamendi appended Cook, earning a yellow card, which will become a theme of the match. Eight minutes in, McLean struck a header to get the first in the score sheet. Violence continued, resulting in another yellow card, and by Fleet this time. Mendy boosted the drama terrifying Walker with an unwilling kick. And with this terrible head clash, Fleet earned their second yellow. For the first 10 minutes of the second half, Fleet was in the attack, confronted by a tough defense. A promising city attack by Kenan Isaac confronted violently awarded City a penalty kick and a golden opportunity. Bradley Bob took up the mission with no luck. A dangerous tackle from Kidwell's back by Rhys Fleet sparked a confrontation between both sides. Rhys earned a direct red and Kidwell yellow for his reaction, followed by another yellow with Isaac fouled again near the box. A free kick didn't save the game, but a last-minute handball by Kidwell obviously did. Bob had a second penalty kick chance. This time snatched a well-deserved throw. This is Lena Alcazar for Brox TV.